I'm Roy Foster, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Oklahoma Custom Coatings and Metal Processing International here in Mission, Texas. Uh, we do a lot of different coatings, industrial coatings. Uh, one of them is, is the ZPEX coating. Uh, we use that a lot in oil and gas. And one of the neat features of ZPEX, uh, it's a patented coating that we have a patent on, and it can be applied on threads um, because it goes down with a total film build of three mils. And what we do is we take the part, we clean it um, and pre-treat it um, using seven stages of cleaning and pre-treatment. Um, the first pre-treatment that goes down is zirconium oxide pre-treatment. It prevents against uh, creep back whenever uh, a part gets damaged or a nick on the edge or whatever and the paint gets chipped away. It prevents the corrosion from creeping back and uh, propagating throughout the substrate. Um, and once that's done, we, we, we emerge it and we charge the paint positively, and ground the part, and, and we e-coat it one molecule at a time. Uh, the e-coat we use here at MPI in Oklahoma, Custom Coatings is uh, EC6100 made by Exalta. Cathodic coat is the same thing I talked about in ZPEX, except it stops after the e-coat process. So once you do all the pre-treatment stages, you bake it, you're done. The uh, cathodic coat's done at that point. Fincoat is for the HVAC industry. Um, it's used a lot on, on um, where there's sharp fin edges, and I talked earlier about the, uh, the EC6100 being formulated for uh, high edge build. Um, this, is, this is probably the most extreme um, case of where you would need high edge build and fin density um, on micro channel coils as well as tube and fin coils. Um, so you get a higher edge build of the e-coat here. So same process as ZPEX, except after the baking of the e-coat. Most of the time we'll shoot a, a UV top coat, protect the e-coat from um, degrading. E-coat by itself is an epoxy. So once it's out in sunlight, if you don't have a UV coating on top of it to protect it, you'll get like a chalking effect that'll happen. So most of the HVAC units that we coat here at MPI um, do go out in the sunlight and do get a UV top coat um, to protect them as well. UV top coat that we use here is a Emrod Elite product. Uh, it's the same product used for the final finish on um, international trucks, things like that that go out on the highway, see a lot of UV exposure. But most of the time we'll put a UV top coat on. We also offer um, antimicrobial coatings as a top coat as well. And we do um, hydrophilic, hydrophobic coatings on top of the e-coat. So once you put the, e when I say e-coat, that's what we call cathodic coat. Once that's put down, um, there's a plethora of, of options as far as it comes to uh, top coating options, depending on what environment it's gonna go in. Well, that's gonna be the base coat that we would put down for Caterpillar. That'll be the base coat we put down for, uh, for um, John Deere, or any of those type of companies that want. E-code is the base, and that's what it'll be. It'll be all the pre-treatment we talked about with the zirconium oxide, and then we'll put the E-code down, the cathodic code down, and that's that's that system. Another coating is uh, Mil Spec C53039. This is CARC. Um, for all the people out there in the world that love our military, this is what protects those guys, uh, the equipment. from If there's a chemical attack that happens, um, CARC stands for Chemical Agent Resistant Coatings. CARC gets the same cathodic coat first, after that, then the, the, the cartman is a type of paint that goes down on top of the, it's one of the options. 